When you build an empire, sometimes you will have to go to war. And when that happens, uh, you want to be the one to lead your troops into battle, very much like uh, Julius Caesar did or uh, Napoleon did. Uh, so you can rule that empire, you can decide for your empire, but yet you are the one who will give the orders in the battle. Outside of battles, units move grouped into armies, allowing the player to efficiently command many units. Once battle starts, units deploy and act individually inside the limited battlefield on the map. All armies inside the projected battlefield will fight, allowing players to bring reinforcements to difficult battles. Players can even move units into ongoing battles to add more reinforcements, for instance to outflank their enemy. With battle fought on the world map rather than a separate battle map, the where and the when of battle matter just as much as the how. So we first tried uh, that system of uh, deploying you know, uh, battles and your armies uh, into the, the, the game map uh, with Endless Legend. Uh, one of our ideas that we had was to, to make these battles um, uh, with indirect control. We wanted you to give the orders to your generals and to tell them what they should do. We wanted to change that uh, on humankind and keep that idea of deploying on the map keep that idea of having the battles efficient, but at the same time, we want you to be in control of everything in the battle. In Humankind, players have a direct control over exactly where their units are positioned in battle, where they move, uh, what they attack, uh, and that means you can really take uh, advantage of the terrain configuration of the battle. So you can place your archers behind a, a cliff in order to protect them from uh, melee attackers. We can put your cavalry in a forest uh, so that they can't be seen. The battle area will be defined uh, based on how the two armies uh, meet initially and think about where the battle is going to take place as well as where to position your units once you're in battle. Every unit in humankind has a class and up to one ability that affect combat. Some of these abilities affect combat strength, yet others have more particular effects. Clever use of abilities and terrain can change the course of battle. Players obviously will want to recreate the great battles of history, for instance, the Battle of Marathon. To do so, you know, obviously they have the emblematic unit for each culture. Um, but on top of that, you know, each culture has access to a set of shared common units. Uh, the thing is, though, we change the equipment, you know, the armor, uh, for each of these uh, common units based on the culture. Uh, so for instance, you know, the Persian archers or the Greek archers uh, or the, uh, the, the Chinese archers will be, will be slightly uh, different in their appearance. We've made very sure with our historians that everything is very authentic, you know, historical. The same goes for you know, the animations uh, and the, uh, the combat choreography, the formations. Uh, so we've taken great care to recreate uh, uh, for instance, the testudo formation for the Roman legionnaires, um, and we also have you know, the Greek phalanx, so you'll be able to see that in game. Uh, over the course of the game as well, uh, we have uh, battles that kind of raise, uh, that increase in terms of scale and scope. So at the beginning you have sort of a few cavalry, a few archers, a small skirmish, and gradually moving on we introduce uh, units with guns, you know. Uh, we introduce sea battles, you can have battles across land and sea, uh, culminating at the end of the game with these great big, you know, continent-spanning battles with artillery support, you know, aircraft, uh, cannons, etc., etc. The feedback from the open dev test was uh, was absolutely you know, pivotal, vital, and this allowed us to focus in our efforts on, you know, the things that players were most. Uh, most interested in, most, most concerned about, um, typically the, uh, the fluidity, the efficiency of the animations. Um, so we added a few new features like the ability to queue actions, the ability to uh, have multiple actions happening in parallel, um, as well as you know, various little tweaks here and there, uh, really in order to make the battles as, as quick, efficient, uh, comprehensible as possible. So I've really managed to improve things thanks to that feedback. In humankind, possibilities are endless. Uh, you can be uh, a warmonger, you can be a person of peace. It will be up to you to decide who you are as a leader. So it will be up to you to ask yourself the questions is, as a general, uh, how will I leave my mark on history?